Welcome to our Mystery Sleep Stories channel, your sanctuary for meditation and a peaceful sleep. Immerse yourself in the soothing embrace of sleep-inducing tales, carefully crafted to transport you to mysterious lands. Let the gentle rain and serene sounds of nature accompany you on this quest for deep sleep. Say goodbye to restless nights and welcome the embrace of a restful sleep with our mystery bedtime stories. So, let the tale begin. The Curse of Artemis Hunting in the Forests of Greece Chapter 1 The Enchanted Forest In a remote village, nestled among the rolling hills, and ancient forests of Greece, a sense of unease had taken hold. The villagers spoke in hushed tones about the strange occurrences in the nearby woods, once a haven of natural beauty and now a place of mystery and fear. The forest, under the protection of Artemis, the goddess of the hunt, had become ensnared in an unexplained curse. Animals that once roamed peacefully were now agitated and wild, and the plants themselves seemed to recoil at human touch. The village elders, baffled and concerned, recalled an ancient legend of Artemis's wrath, a curse that could befall those who disrespected her sacred domain. Seeking guidance, they turned to Alexios Kostas, a detective renowned for his expertise in solving mysteries shrouded in myth and folklore. Alexios, a man of logic yet open to the mysteries of the old gods, accepted the challenge with a mix of skepticism and curiosity. His arrival in the village coincided with ominous signs, a sudden storm that darkened the sky, and a series of unsettling howls that echoed from the forest. Undeterred, Alexios began his investigation by visiting the forest's edge. He observed the odd behavior of the wildlife and the unnaturally dense fog that clung to the trees. As he ventured deeper into the woods, a sense of being watched crept over him, and the air grew thick with a palpable tension. His first significant discovery came when he stumbled upon an ancient altar dedicated to Artemis, now in ruins and overgrown with vines. The altar, once a place of offerings and reverence, appeared to have been desecrated, its sacred symbols defaced. This desecration, Alexio surmised, could be the cause of the goddess's fury. Seeking further insights, Alexios consulted with the village's priestess, an elderly woman who was the keeper of ancient lore. She recounted tales of Artemis's past benevolence towards the village and the forest, and how the goddess's favor was essential to the balance of nature. She spoke of a time when the villagers regularly left offerings at the altar, a practice that had fallen into neglect over the years. Armed with this knowledge, Alexios delved into the local archives, poring over old texts and records. He discovered references to a sacred artifact, a silver bow said to have been blessed by Artemis herself. This bow, a symbol of the goddess's protection, had been lost to time, its last known location somewhere within the forest. Realizing the significance of this discovery, Alexios decided to explore the forest more thoroughly. He mapped out the ancient pathways and hidden groves, searching for any clues that might lead him to the lost bow. His journey was fraught with challenges. The forest seemed to resist his presence, with brambles ensnaring his path and eerie sounds that followed his footsteps. During one of his expeditions, Alexios encountered a strange phenomenon, a deer that glowed with an ethereal light. The creature, unafraid of his presence, 
seemed to beckon him to follow. Trusting his instincts, Alexios trailed the deer deeper into the forest. The animal led him to a secluded glade, where the remnants of an old temple lay hidden beneath years of overgrowth. In the temple, Alexios found carvings and frescoes depicting Artemis in various aspects, as the huntress, the protector, and the nurturer. It was here that he found the first real clue, an inscription that spoke of the sacred bow's resting place, deep within the heart of the forest, in a cavern guarded by the spirits of the woods. As night fell and the forest grew darker, Alexios realized that solving the mystery of Artemis's curse would require not just his detective skills, but also a journey into the unknown and mystical realms of the forest. He prepared to venture into the depths of the woods, to find the sacred bow and uncover the truth behind the curse. Chapter 2 Whispers of the Past In the verdant embrace of the Greek forest, Alexios Kostas continued his search for answers, his path lit by the silvery light of the moon. The deeper he ventured into the woods, the more he sensed the ancient magic that seemed to permeate the air. The animals of the forest, once agitated, now watched him with a curious intelligence, as if recognizing his quest's purpose. As Alexios delved further, he discovered ancient ruins and relics that spoke of Artemis's long-standing connection to these woods. Among these ruins, he found fragments of pottery and inscriptions that hinted at a time when the forest was a sanctuary, a sacred place where the villagers and the goddess existed in harmony. The detective's journey led him to the home of an elderly villager, known to be the last living descendant of a line of forest guardians. This guardian, a wizened old man named Theodoros, shared tales passed down through generations about the forest and its bond with Artemis. He spoke of a time when the villagers would perform rituals and offer prayers at the altar, honoring the goddess and ensuring her favor. Theodoros lamented the loss of these traditions, hinting that the villagers' neglect might have invoked the goddess's wrath. Armed with this knowledge, Alexios returned to the forest, seeking the cavern mentioned in the temple's inscription. His search took him to a secluded part of the forest, where the trees grew older and the air was heavy with the scent of moss and ancient earth. Here, hidden by a veil of vines and foliage, he found the entrance to a cavern. There were whispers and shadows everywhere throughout the cavern. Alexios felt the weight of history all about him as he delved deeper. The walls were decorated with elaborate sculptures that portrayed Artemis in all her guises, including that of the patroness of hunters, the guardian of women and children and the preserver of the natural world and fauna. Deep within the cavern, Alexios found what he had been searching for, the sacred bow of Artemis. The bow, made of silver and adorned with intricate designs, lay on a stone pedestal, its presence almost ethereal. But as he reached out to retrieve it, he realized that the bow was protected by an ancient enchantment. A riddle inscribed in the ancient Greek script promised to unlock the enchantment for one who could solve it. Alexios, drawing upon his extensive knowledge of Greek mythology and history, pondered over the riddle. It spoke of the balance of nature, the cycle of life and death, and the role of the hunter. After hours of contemplation, Alexios deciphered the riddle's meaning, 
demonstrating his understanding of the delicate balance that Artemis guarded so fiercely. With the riddle solved, the enchantment was lifted, and Alexios carefully took the bow. As he did so, a sense of calm seemed to wash over the cavern, as if the forest itself was acknowledging the restoration of a lost relic. However, Alexios knew that simply retrieving the bow was not enough to lift the curse. He needed to restore it to its rightful place and reconcile the villagers with the goddess they had neglected. As he made his way back to the village, he contemplated the task ahead to rekindle the ancient bond between Artemis and the people who once revered her. Upon his return, Alexios gathered the villagers and shared his discoveries. He spoke of the sacred bow, the forgotten traditions, and the need to renew their reverence for Artemis. The villagers, initially skeptical, were swayed by the evidence of the detective's journey and the sincerity of his words. Together, they planned a ritual to honor Artemis, a ritual that would take place at the newly restored altar in the forest. The villagers worked to repair the altar, clearing away the overgrowth and repairing the damage done by years of neglect. As they did so, a change seemed to come over the forest. The animals appeared calmer, and the oppressive gloom began to lift, replaced by dappled sunlight filtering through the trees. Chapter 3 The Hunter's Trial With the sacred bow of Artemis in hand, and the villagers rallied to his cause, Detective Alexios Kostas prepared for the next crucial phase of his quest, the hunter's trial. This trial, as revealed by the wise old guardian Theodoros, was a test set by Artemis herself, a challenge to prove the worthiness of those seeking to lift her curse. As the full moon bathed the forest in a ghostly glow, Alexios and the villagers gathered at the restored altar. They began the ritual with offerings and prayers, invoking Artemis's forgiveness and seeking her guidance. The air was thick with anticipation, the forest itself seeming to hold its breath. During the ritual, a mystical occurrence took place. The statue of Artemis at the altar came to life, her eyes glowing with an otherworldly light. In a voice that resonated through the forest, she spoke to Alexios, acknowledging his courage and wisdom in uncovering the truth behind the curse. She then presented him with three challenges, the hunter's trial, each designed to test his understanding of the natural order and his respect for the forest. The first challenge was to track and find a white stag a creature said to be sacred to Artemis, and one that could only be seen by those she deemed worthy. Alexios set out at dawn, his senses heightened and his mind focused. The task was arduous, requiring him to traverse rugged terrain and dense underbrush. After hours of tracking, he finally found the elusive stag, a magnificent creature with a coat that shimmered in the sunlight. Instead of capturing it, Alexios chose to simply observe and honor its grace, understanding that the true test was one of respect for the forest's creatures. The second challenge was to retrieve water from a hidden spring, known to be the source of life and nourishment for the entire forest. The spring was located in a remote part of the forest, its location a closely guarded secret. Guided by the whispers of the forest and his own intuition, Alexios embarked on a journey that took him deeper into the heart of the woods. He encountered various obstacles, from treacherous ravines to deceptive mirages. After a day's search, 
he found the spring, its waters pure and clear. As he collected the water, he reflected on the interconnectedness of all life within the forest. The final challenge was the most daunting to face and overcome his deepest fear. As night fell, Alexios found himself in a clearing where the shadows seemed to come alive. There, he confronted manifestations of his past failures and doubts, spectral visions that sought to overwhelm him with fear and despair. Drawing strength from his resolve to complete his mission, Alexios faced each vision with courage, acknowledging his fears, but refusing to be ruled by them. As the last of the visions faded, a sense of peace and clarity settled over him. With the three challenges completed, Alexios returned to the altar, where the villagers awaited him. He presented the water from the spring as an offering, and as he did, the forest seemed to sigh in relief. The animals, once agitated, now roamed peacefully, and the plants, once withering, began to flourish. Artemis, once again appearing in her ethereal form, commended Alexios for his bravery and wisdom. She declared that the hunter's trial was complete and that the curse would be lifted. The goddess's image slowly faded, but her final words lingered in the air, a reminder of the eternal bond between the forest and those who care for it. Chapter 4 Lifting the Curse As dawn broke over the forest, casting a golden light through the trees, Detective Alexios Kostas stood at the altar of Artemis, surrounded by the villagers. The trials set by the goddess had been completed, and now it was time to perform the final ritual to lift the curse from the forest. The villagers, inspired by Alexios's bravery and dedication, had come together to prepare for the ritual. They adorned the altar with fresh flowers, lit incense that filled the air with a sweet fragrance, and arranged offerings of fruits and grains. The atmosphere was one of hope and unity, a stark contrast to the fear and uncertainty that had gripped the village just days before. Alexios, with the sacred bow of Artemis in hand, began the ritual. He recited ancient prayers, his voice steady and clear, echoing through the forest. The villagers joined in, their voices harmonizing in a chant that seemed to resonate with the very soul of the woods. As the ritual progressed, a remarkable transformation began to take place. The dense fog that had shrouded the forest started to lift, revealing the lush greenery and vibrant life that had been hidden beneath. The animals, once restless and aggressive, now roamed peacefully, and the plants that had withered under the curse began to bloom with renewed vigor. In the midst of the ritual, the statue of Artemis at the altar shimmered with a celestial light. The goddess appeared once more, her presence majestic and serene. She addressed the villagers, her voice imbued with both warmth and authority. Artemis acknowledged their efforts to restore the balance and harmony of the forest. She spoke of the importance of respecting nature and the bond between humans and the divine. With a final benediction, Artemis lifted the curse. The forest, now freed from the shadow that had plagued it, seemed to breathe a sigh of relief. The villagers erupted in joyous celebration, their cheers echoing through the trees. They thanked Alexios, hailing him as a hero who had restored the goddess's favor. In the days that followed, the village experienced a period of prosperity and peace. The forest returned to its former glory, its beauty and abundance, 
a testament to the restored harmony. The villagers resumed their traditional practices of honoring Artemis, ensuring that the lessons learned from the curse would not be forgotten. Alexios, however, knew that his time in the village had come to an end. His mission was complete, and other mysteries awaited him elsewhere. As he prepared to depart, the priestess of the village approached him. She bestowed upon him a token of their gratitude, a pendant bearing the symbol of Artemis, a reminder of his journey and the bond he had formed with the forest and its protectors. As he walked away from the village, Alexios reflected on his adventure. He had faced trials that tested his body, mind, and spirit, and in doing so, had not only lifted a curse, but had also rediscovered the ancient connections between humans, nature, and the gods. The detective knew that this experience would stay with him, shaping his understanding of the world and his role in it.